Hey guys, Chess here to take you through my DSCS settings setup um, for the Pyrex Crystal Super. Uh, firstly, and just quickly, so my system, I've got a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080 Super. Um, it's got 16 gigabytes of RAM. I've got 128 gigabytes of RAM at 3200 megahertz, but you don't need that much. You can just go with, I would recommend 64 at most. I've also got the AMD Ryzen 7. 5800 x3d uh, CPU um, once you do actually get your VR headset what I would do is just um, make sure you download Pimax Play um, you'll need that to set up your headset so I'll just go into the headset settings and we'll go through this um, so I haven't really changed anything here from room lighting frequency I've left it automatic at 50 Hertz um, refresh rate I've set mine to 72 you can do 90 if you want to but 72 is more than enough for me um, screen timeout I haven't changed nothing else I've really changed here brightness I've heard you turn brightness down to 99 um, and apparently it helps with uh, a bit of washing out of colors and stuff um, definitely turn eye tracking on auto IPD adjustment so I first set, enabled this got it to sort out to determine what um, my IPD value was it came to 62.2 once it, it had done that I just basically unchecked it because so you only really need to do it once um, I haven't tweaked any other settings here in this device settings menu um, go into the game so you can go into DCS I've just been editing everything in common settings but you can just tweak it the setup DCS specific settings if you like but yeah I'm just on just using common anyways so for render quality I've set it to medium um, I found medium to work really well for me medium is about 75% of the resolution that the Pimax Crystal Super can put out I've found 75 to be pretty good make sure with dynamic forward rendering um, turn off Pimax OpenXR quad views and Pimax central priority rendering um, I'm not using these at the moment I'm using Alimus's quad views and uh, mbooker's uh, quad forwarded rendering um, to do most of the um, the tuning that I need for DCS um, smart smoothing I've turned it off I had some weird artifacting occurring so I've turned this off I would recommend probably turning it off um, you can turn it on and if you're getting weird artifacting I think it's because of this um, lock to half frame rate so if you're really struggling to get a stable 32 you can check this to just set your FPS to 36 which would be fine but it's purely up to you um, hidden area mask yes turn that on um, Vive compatibility not really required here um, I haven't changed any other settings in Pimax Play. Um, then we'll look into the NVIDIA control panel. Um, so that's all done. So here again, just going so go into manage 3D settings, global setting, go actually into program settings uh, and just make sure you're, you've got DCS combat simulator selected. Um, there's only three settings you need to change here. Um, firstly, just low latency mode, make that ultra. Uh, max frame rate, so we obviously set the Pimax crystal to render at 72 frames per second. So I would also just, also suggest just limiting this to 72 frames per second. Um, the last setting I've tweaked is prefer maximum performance. Uh, everything else has pretty much stayed the same. I haven't changed anything. You can play with virtual rendered frames or virtual reality pre-rendered frames depending on your CPU, but I've stuck with one just so that I get the lowest latency. Um, you increase the number, you'll have more frames generated in the background, but there's you might notice more latency coming into the um, into DCS. So for DCS settings, um, resolution, um, I've noticed to me, it feels like black magic, but um, so this basically determines the resolution of the mirror on your desktop. Um, so I always set it to a very low value because I don't really care how DCS, DCS looks on my um, desktop. I obviously care how DCS looks in my VR headset. So res of cockpit displays, just do 1024. Um, Anti-aliasing, so obviously DLA, upscaling DLSS, DLSS performance quality, set it to quality um, and sharpening at 0.25 you want 
these, I found these settings to be really good. You can also do MSAA times two. I think that's really good as well. Um, but I'm getting stable 72 frames per second with the LSS. The, um, the shadowing or the trailing of moving objects and stuff like that, uh, it's become less of an issue and I'm not noticing as, as much anymore. Um, before you would get strange ghosting and things like that, but DLSS has improved recently with version K. So I'm not seeing that ghosting and I'm pretty happy with DLSS at the moment. Um, textures, I've set them to high. You can set them to medium if you want to, but um, I like to, I really like my textures. Um, terrain textures, again, high, but you can change it to low if you want to. For shadows, um, I'd start with medium. If you're not happy with the frame rate, so it's not working for you, change it down to low, but medium seems like a good medium. What I've noticed is with low, the shadows, they're there, but they're kind of rounded and they're not really defined. With medium, you get a good sort of defined shadow and you can be like, I, oh, and you can sort of correlate what shadows you're seeing as to what actually is casting that shadow. So that's why I'd go for medium. Um, flat shadows were yes. Secondary shadows, yes. Uh, screen space shadows, yes. Clutter grass. I've set to 1000. So this value just determines the distance that your eyes will see um, grass rendered in. So um, I found a thousand pretty good because that's generally, I won't notice grass beyond that distance. So 1000 is pretty good. Um, forest visibility, I've maxed it out to 100. You can change this, but um, I don't, there's something about seeing trees render off in the distance. It's, it's a little immersion breaking. So I try to max that out as much as I can. What you can do is reduce the forest detail factor. So I've reduced it to 0.3. Um, Senior details factor also to 0.3. I don't spend a lot of time around trees and buildings. So those values are pretty good. Um, preload radius, I've set it to 100,000, um, depending on how much RAM you have. I think you can play with this, um, but I think 100 is a good start. Uh, chimney smoke density, just there's not the changes are insignificant. Just set it to one. Um, smoke's not a big deal. Um, max FPS, set it to 75, but obviously with NVIDIA control panel and Pimax Play, everything will be set to 72. So there's no point making this higher because we've already set the frame rate for the Pimax crystal. Uh, anisotropic filtering, anisotropic filtering um, times two, uh, terrain, object, shadows, default, cockpit, global illumination, sure have that on. Um, these settings are pretty straight, it's standard. Rain droplets, high. If we have rain droplets, good, but it's not a big deal. Uh, make sure you have VSync full screen and, well, make sure you have them uh, disabled. Uh, visibility range, so I set it to ultra be um, just because I do like to see objects way off in the distance. Uh, it's mainly like ground stuff and things like that. But um, if you're struggling, just change it to high. I don't think you're gonna really notice too much of a difference between these two. Um, I tend to change between ultra and high when I'm changing maps, so highly detailed maps like Cola, Syria, Sinai, um, I'll probably switch it down to high um, just to get some frames back. Um, if you're on pretty empty maps and things like that, like Caucasus or Nevada, um, Ultra's probably good. But um, I would, yeah, strongly suggest just playing between these two. Uh, civilian traffic off. I don't know why we've got civilian traffic in a war zone, so. Um, clouds, I like ultra clouds. Um, you can go high. I don't think you're going to notice the differences too much, but ultra is fine. Uh, I'm still getting a stable 72, so um, 72 frames per second, so I'm happy. Um, water low, um, I don't spend a lot of time in the water, so, and I'm usually too far away from it to notice, so low is probably good. Um, you can set it to medium or high if you'd like to, but my personal preference is low. Um, SSAO is off, SSLR is off. Lens effects off, heat blur off, motion blur definitely off. Um, depth of field, we don't need that. We've got VR, so you'll get your depth of field and perception from the VR headsets itself. Um, canopy, canopy reflections is nice. Um, color grading, you can play with all these, but apparently best for DCS is Technicolor 3. Um, have volumetric lights on as well. Um, and then just quickly the VR settings, so make sure your um, virtual reality headset's enabled, your pixel density is one. Um, we'll be using um, quad views and everything else to kind of tweak the pixel densities um, 
in the other areas so you don't need to really play with you don't really need to change that so much use mouse is fine um, custom like don't force IPD to distance because we're doing that Pimax play bloom reflect off because that's terrible um, MS a mass size I've put it to 0 0.33 I don't really notice any differences changing here so um, it's up to you what that should be um, enable HMD mask um, also make sure you enable use DCS system resolution um, mirror eye source so either the left or right you'll only really notice this if you stream or record um, because this is just what it this is the perspective the desktop will render on um, if you put both this is gonna be really weird I wouldn't do that um, crop source to rectangle is good because that means that the desktop image that's rendered on your PC your monitor itself will it won't look like a fish eye like you might have seen other people with vr um, it just renders a, a straight square so it's less disorienting if someone else is watching or anything like that um, use quad view um, you'll see this warning pop up this is just saying once we've installed everything you should see this appear saying that you've got additional open xr layers enabled um, make sure you enable this uh, and then lastly just eye tracking so yes uh, enable that obviously pimax Play will be handling the eye tracking, but make sure you turn that on. Um, cool. Moving on from that, then. So, um, uh, my first guy that I watched when I set up my Pimax Crystal Super, I saw a Tally Mouse video. He made two really good recommendations. First off, was downloading his uh, Quad Views companion. I'll put a link to his uh, to Tally Mouse's video. Um, but I'll put a, a link to his video. Basically, he talks through the set steps to set up the Quad Views companion. Um, he also says that you. Sh he also recommends downloading. Um, well, you actually do need it, uh, and download M Butcher's uh, Quad Views Favorited. Um, you need both of these definitely to get the most out of DCS in your free settings. Once you've downloaded and installed everything, essentially, for my system, what I found works best is. Um, the settings I've got shown here. There are presets available, so you've got Tally Mouse's favorite. Um, quad Views default if you want to just do that, or there's a, a Give Me FPS setting, which I don't like at all. I think it's just way too low. Um, what I've found works great is 33% horizontal focus size, so horizontally you'll get a nice um, shape. Vertical, I've also set this to 33. Um, setting the values of 33% for both of these mean that I don't really see the downscaling that's occurring in my peripheral vision so much it's kind of actually difficult for me to spot these days um it's only if i'm really trying to look in my peripheral vision but as soon as i look the quad views and the eye tracking has rendered um that focal point to be a much clearer resolution so um i found those to work great uh vertical focus offset minus 10 just so that's a little lower because we're obviously looking at you know cockpit more than we are looking up um, so your photo rate resolution, this is really important. So you can set it to 100% where your eyes are looking. The resolution will be at 100% of the Pimax crystal. Um, I found 125 to be good, but, um, your tele mouse, he runs it up at 200. Um, I've set it to 200, just see how it goes on my system. And I was getting like 45, 45 frames per, per second. And I didn't really notice a too much of a difference in the quality. So Peripheral resolution, so 5% of your native resolution, so where your eyes aren't looking, you want down downscaled. Um, so this value saves a lot of um, resources. Um, the sharpness and the thickness, so the sharpness just obviously um, cleans up a lot of the uh, jagged edges, so it makes everything just look more smoother and your th transition to thickness, so 30%, um, so that's the range between uh, where your eyes are looking and where in your peripheral vision so 30% I found is good um, you won't notice the downscaling so much or it won't be as, as, as apparent if you I would have a play with these settings just try to give me FPS and you'll see the the differences um, I've also got turbo mode on it's not really explained what it does so much but um, I've been getting decent frames with that set on so I'm happy with that once you set the settings obviously just hit apply 